Hi everyone! For today's video, today's video, uh, what I'm going to show you is how to clean your hands or how I clean my hands before I start working with polymer clay because since some of you know I am from uh, Chile, from uh, the north part of Chile and the biggest problem that I have here is that I live in the driest desert in the whole world and my city is very dusty so I constantly uh, always have to be cleaning everything and everything is with dust and um, since my husband have his uh, working place close to my uh, craft area I get not only the dust from uh, the air but also I get the dust from uh, the wood that he's working with. So uh, that become a huge problem when it comes to work with polymer clay. I try to check in forums on the internet how I could do it uh, for uh, work with polymer clay and don't make it so dirty just with my hands because I was wiping my hands always but no, still it was dirty and I even took my ring, wedding ring off, but no, no way. Always my polymer clay was dirty. So uh, one day I decided to clean my hands, but in more like um, with more dedication, I think you say, like more deeply, just with the baby wipes and it works. So I will show you how I do it. Uh, as you can see, my nails usually are short. I will put the light here over so you can see better. My nails uh, usually are very short, so but still they get dirty because here is very dusty. So whatever you, you touch or uh, uh, do, your hands get dirty and your nails get dirty. So the first I'm going to do, I haven't cleaned my hands or anything. So uh, what I used to do in the beginning was like to clean my hands like that, my fingers and everything like that, my hand. And as you can see, maybe it doesn't look like you can see it very much on the camera, but the baby wipes got a little dirty. So my hands, you can think, no, are, are not so dirty. So then, yeah, after I uh, clean my hands, I start working and my nails, of course, that I usually use this uh, tweezers or something. No, I don't know how you call this uh, for clean uh, your nails. But still my polymer clay was dirty. so. Then one day I just pick up a baby wipe and I start to clean each line of my hand like this and in the side good like this and as you can see it's very dirty there you can see it better and that is just dust As you can see, there. And it's dust that you don't realize, at least here, that is in your hands and is in the lines of my hand. So again, I just put my finger here and put the wipe around and I start to pass it on the lines of the hand again and again and around where I know that the polymer clay could go and like scratching my my hand but you see and this is something that 
the I, I didn't find on the internet actually or in the forums or Facebook pages where you ask what I can do for that the, my clay don't get so dirty because I thought it was the dust in the air but no it's my hand that is not properly clean and uh, you know when I was living in Norway I didn't have this problem because where I was living or actually in Norway it's not dust or you collect dust but very little but here in my city is horrible every day uh, you have to be cleaning everything and and I work with closed door and closed window but still the dust come through in your clothes in your hair whatever and it's windy here every afternoon uh, we are at the sea level so every afternoon it comes this uh, wind from the sea fresh and nice but also dusty so between your fingers as, as you can see clean your hand in each line that you can possibly save dust or dirtiness from outside because even if you wash your hands with water and soap no, it's, it's still it's dirty it's like it's a stuck in, in your hand and also what I did is to pick up this for the nails and clean it like this so as you can see it's also dirtiness in the nails and of course it's, it's always here especially for me now that I decide to adopt a cat so and the cat is with a uh, he can't walk so I have to be doing everything for him and uh, refilling the sandbox and all so I get my hands more dirty, my nails and all, even when I keep it as short as possible because it gets broken and it bothers to me for me to, to have them long. So is you also, I suggest you to clean your nails this way. So you will take every dirtiness that could be in so will be completely clean this is a little too fat and it's painful but it's the idea how to do it now the other hand you don't see the difference actually but it is uh, I can tell that one is clean and the other not because if I do this here like that you see it's not more dirtiness and but if I do the same with the other hand there for example and then you see it's like yellow this yellow dust that I actually have here now in my hands and in my room in my craft area is because it's from the wood that my husband is working with that is all over the air here in my house not inside the house but uh, or inside my mother's house but inside my craft area and computer room and bedroom because um, it flies away here is windy so even when he cleans his working area constantly and I clean constantly to my craft area and the bedroom and everything I still get this yellow like powder or something so this is the way you like scratching your hands in where is the lines following the the line of your hand try to clean it pass it like as you prefer I do it like this like if I was drawing or making a line with a pencil but with my finger so we'll get 
as you can see there, for example, the, the dirtiness of the hand. And the same uh, uh, with the nails after. So this is the way uh, I improve um, the cleaning of my hands for work with polymer clay. And actually it's, uh, I test it with the white color that is the most critical when it comes to work with polymer clay. And it works. And as you can see, my fingers are all broken, are always the same because sometimes I do man's job, so. And of course you do like this, so you clean better the this part of the fingers. For me, I have many lines in, in this part of the fingers, here for example. It's always like broken or something, so it's sometimes the, the dirtiness get in this part, so I have to clean it carefully. Uh, probably many of you that uh, are subscribed to my channel or that that are watching this video uh, will notice that your hands look much much uh, better than my, my hands because I don't take care of them properly or not like a woman so uh, it's not like so difficult to to clean it but as I say clean uh, very good the hands the all the lines in your hand, inside, in the f in your fingers, between, finger by finger like this, before working with polymer clay, and of course the surface where you are going to work. And uh, uh, now why I am teaching you this, because uh, my next project is in polymer clay, and it's very important that my hands be clean, so before I start this uh, making make this video with this project uh, I wanted to share with you how I clean my hands so you all know I don't really clean the nails because I already show how I did it with this I didn't do it very well actually but it's, it's the idea how you it's supposed you have to do it so this way so as, as you can see now, it look much better. And I know for a fact that at least in the lines and all is clean. And I can work with polymer clay now. And it's, of course you will get some uh, dirtiness, like tiny hairs or something, but you will see the difference that is much better uh, uh, after you clean the hands as I did. Uh, working with polymer clay and don't make it uh, dirty. It's much, much better. So I suggest you to always have baby wipes and clean good your hands. And don't dry it with paper like this kind. No, just l let it dry alone. alone. And uh, before you uh, start working, um, take away all the tools, all the things that you will need for work. Try to clean them first and all. Clean the table and then you clean your hands and start work and you will see. It will be a huge improvement in how clean will uh, turns out your work. Okay, I hope this video uh, was useful. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm sorry again for my accent. I try to don't speak with much accent, but it's impossible. <laughs> Thank you for watching and don't forget to get subscribed and Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.